Greetings. I must make a video, a video response to the video title. Frog Psyop. Frog Psyop, Deutsch Elite Whistleblower, not a between parentheses banker tells all. One. To my knowledge, the source of the video is not from David David Robert Steele's blog, but from Coopera Tag de Vrije Media dot nl de Vrije Media. Listen. Ronald Bernard is Dutch. This is clearly proven. So how can the source of the video be from an English speaking source? This is my first point. Second, quote from video description of the video that I am actually Responding, quote, alternative news media, though the guy has zero banking credentials, no bio, no history of his eliteness between commas. This is a quote from his video description. Okay, explain to me then how Ronald's videos is about banking. I'm making an English translation of his Dutch video title and video description that I'm going to put the source in my video description. Fragment from the Happy B reading bus in private bank between commas. This is the title of his video. And the comment section is section from a Happy B reading bus in private bank for prosperity and welfare between commas. We must constitute a movement. We must have the courage to embrace. This, uh, this word I'm not sure. Brothers, so I'm going to skip it. Brothers and sisters, together we are the change by doing so. Stand up and join in with the Happy B, your own bank in creation. Again, I will put the link of his video in the video description. Even his, his business is a banking business. I will put the link in the video description as well. Okay, now I want this to be very clear. It is not, I repeat, not that I support his banking business because I don't know anything about it. I did not study it, that's all. But I support his whistleblowing in his videos that I posted with the permission of Apocalypse YouTuber. More information from good comments posted by Nunki Channel okay Nunki channels four weeks ago you're spreading uninformed disinformation the video you're talking about is a Dutch video by journalist Arma Schiffers. Schiffers. She interviews banker Ronald Benhard. Benhard is well known in the Netherlands for his effort to create a new bank in the Netherlands that will work in a different way with the link that will be posted in the video description. It gives lectures all over the country here. 
Don't judge what you cannot understand. Another good comment from the same YouTuber, non-key channels four weeks ago. Why do you ask me to do your research? Descent, descent journalists research stuff themselves before posting. But then again, most people nowadays don't research. They just judge over people ignorant of the facts. And also there is another good comment by Doreen Agnostino four weeks ago who said, you may wish to explore Jewish origin of Jesuits with the link that will also be posted in my video description. There is also another good comment from Humorous Good 4414, uh, sorry, four, okay, because it's four weeks ago, so I have to correct myself. You Maurice, you Maurice Good, 441, four weeks ago. I am not going to talk about the first paragraph because I don't talk about things that I don't know about, that I did not research myself. I'm not saying that his first paragraph is not correct or that his first paragraph is correct, I don't know. So I removed it, that's all. If you want to read it, just go to uh, the video description that I'm making a video response. It is clear you haven't listened to any of the sources you're smearing. Rather, you seem to have some knee-jerk reaction to their popularity when you can confirm between commas matters within minutes on the internet you announce pronounce your ideas as fact between commas one glaring example is how you completely missed that robert uh, david still didn't post that piece about the dutch finance financier rather it was posted by one of his contributors he curates the site and brings forth excellent analysis from a range of sources. It's not an ego trip, it's a collaboration of talent and real independent thought. You also never bothered to grasp the actual background of the Dutch man, despite the fact that he described this at length in his, in his interview. He was never a formal banker, rather, he was brought in as a fixer, a sharp, manipulative, no-name figure who would not attract attention, but instead get the job done. Like all the nameless people who make the insane system work, he was not supposed to be known by the public. That is the point of how the whole thing works so smoothly. With respect to the protocols, what he is saying is that the principles of disinformation divide and conquer and all the other bits and pieces found within that work are alive in the world around us. There are operating techniques used, being used by the elites. Anyone who understands the money of central, central bankers in maintaining the enslavement of humanity and their role in fomenting multi-generational warfare understands that he's not talking about the Jewish people, but rather the Zionists, who are just the latest iteration of organized cults bound together by privilege and coercion. Goldman Sachs, by any other name, is still evil proclaiming to do God's work between commas. It's hard to believe that you actually listen to the interview or indeed that you listen to most of what you critique. It's all just superficial talking from your own limited framework making the world small because your comfort zone requires 
that everything fit into the boxes you have created. So it's either flat earth or Jesuits. At least with the Jesuits you have elements of the truth, but the system of domination and control is far bigger than any single organization and indeed was never really run by humans to begin with. You do such a discredit to all of us who are really working to develop a keen and insightful understanding of how this whole system functions. I feel you badly, I feel so badly for those misled by your intellectual laziness and self-satisfied ridicule of others. And I want to say, so this is the end of the comments posted by you, Maurice, R-I-S, R-I-S, good, 44, one. And I will add that if I love those comments, it's because I already did my own homework and research. In other words, I don't just grab any comments out there. I just choose, pick from my own research. And I am 99% in agreement with those comments. Finally, my comments and conclusion. That's right. The one who is blowing smoke about the throat psyop is the one making a throat psyop. I know how this works. Like for instance, just like somebody yelling about our oh, poor little victim he is is actually the one being the, perpe the perpetrator of the crime and now using a smear campaign to blow smoke on top of it. You see, when you see somebody blowing smoke big time about a problem, usually it is a smoke screen in an attempt, in an attempt, and a feeble attempt to hide the truth. Would you be a EGP psychophant by any chance? End of my comment and conclusion. Thanks for listening.